Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Gary's Mod. Today we'll be taking a look at the one, the only, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Killstreaks mod. Now this mod was suggested by these amazing people down below, so thank you guys so much for your suggestions. And before we go on, I just want to say that this mod is broken. There are a few killstreaks that do not work whatsoever. One of them actually crashes the game. The AC-130 crashes the game, unfortunately, and the nuke doesn't even work. But all the others do work, and I'm going to show you guys uh, what they do look like. I'm on this big map, which is Big City. Now, there is a lot of issues, but I'll guide you guys through it, and hopefully we can get this together. So without further ado, let's look at some awesome kill streaks. So first things first, you want to press Q and maneuver over to the Utilities tab. Then under the User tab, click Modern Warfare 2 Kill Streaks, and then do Choose Kill Streaks. This is where you choose your kill streaks as well as just your team menu. I'm going to go with these guys. And you can do this. Uh, you can use the Nuke Effects Owner. Show laser on sentry. And then we're going to go to... Oh yeah, they do set. And then, uh, that actually might have done something bad. Who knows? We're going to select some awesome kill streaks. So I'm going to go with UAV, care package, and sentry gun. Then click you selected kill streaks and boom! You are good to go. So the kill streak counter does actually work just like you'd expect in all Call of Duty games. You just spawn enemies in. Now make sure that they are enemies, enemy NPCs. If they are friendly NPCs, then they won't count with the kill streak. But as you guys can see right there, I got the sentry gun. Alright guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to actually use the command. So, before anything, you guys have to do this. Just type in the console, bind, underscore, choose the key you want to bind it to, make sure it's nothing too important. I'm going to make mine H, and then type use, underscore, killstreak. So, all together, it is bind, space, H, space, use, undersc underscore, killstreak. Press enter, and you've now binded that action to that key. And the cool thing is, is the um, the kill gather or the kill streaking works just like. That actually sounded really weird. It works just like Call of Duty. So we're gonna get a cr uh, crossbow out of here. I'm gonna kill some people. Now, just an FYI, you do need to kill enemy NPCs. If you kill friendly NPCs, it does not count towards your kill count. All right, so we got two kill streaks going right now, and three. Alright guys, now be very careful here. What I want you guys to do is press that key that I told you to bind to before. And BAM! You got your kill streak. Be very cautious here. Do not press it two times. If you press it two times or switch your weapon, your game will crash. You do not want that to happen. It's happened to me multiple times while I'm trying to record this. But I think I finally got it down. Alright, so when you have your kill streak, you want to toss it. So hold it and throw it. Now, I came out here for a reason. For some reason in the city... It, things get weird and glitchy. So there it is. There's my helicopter. And there's my care package. And there it goes. And here's my care package. And in fact, the cool thing is the picture that you choose in the, the menu for the kill streaks will be the picture that's, or the image that's actually on the care package, which is awesome. So to get it, you, you, you would get as you'd normally think press use, hold it. You'll be very sentry careful. And bam, I got a sentry gun. Check that out. I got two now. So again, we're gonna check out the sentry gun now, so press 5. Or 5. Buh. H! Press H. Alright. Got the sentry gun. Maneuver to it carefully. And here we are, guys. I don't know why there's a random handprint there, but ignore that. So we're gonna place the sentry gun down, and BAM! Look at that! Sentry gun is good to go! So we're gonna spot some enemies and see if the sentry gun really actually works. And oh boy does it work! Look at that, guys! That is amazing! So the sentry gun works amazingly, amazingly well. Just like it does in Call of Duty, look at that. Holy cow, that thing freaking wrecks! That is what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, wow, man. Holy shiza, that thing works amazingly well. And it does not shoot you either. Now, yes, it does explode. I'll demonstrate that right now. If you uh, shoot it enough. Maybe. <laughs> okay, you know what? It has to explode. Okay, it did when I did the, the the thingy. When I tested it. Ah, there it is, finally! So it takes a shiza ton to explode, but it does explode, and now it's unusable. So as you guys can see, we have a little bit of a thingy down there. It looks like another care package. Let's press H. Alright, I was a little scared that the, the game would have froze there. So again, hold. 
throw it, and a care package will be on the way. And we will see what we get. So there's the helicopter again. Now again, if you do this in the city, like in the middle of the city down there, it'll just be a weird flying package across the city and you'll never get it. I don't know why it does that. It's actually really creepy, but... Uh, okay, so this is an anti-UAV or counter-UAV. And uh, I should probably actually... Uh, yeah. There we go. Alright, so we're going to press H. We now have the counter UAV. We're going to use that. Alright, so counter UAV does seemingly nothing. Of course, you do have to have someone else on the opposite team that has a UAV active in order to actually get the effect. But, I digress. Uh, it seems to work just fine. I can't really validate that, but I hope it works. Next up, we have the standard UAV. Now, this is pretty damn cool. This actually does work. We're going to activate this. And look at there, guys. On the top left corner, we have a UAV. And you can see all the bodies and stuff. And if you even spawn, like, one of these things, as you can see, you can see it on the UAV right there. Flying up. That is so freaking cool. It puts a red dot over the screen, as you can see. Indicating that it, it is indeed an enemy. And you can see it in 3D. And if we uh, were to spawn some enemy NPCs, they do show up on the map. And, uh, for some reason it deletes your cursor. I don't know why it does that. It's actually a little troubling. But, uh, it does work. So we're gonna move on to the next kill streaks. Alright guys, so we are back and I'm gonna just destroy these guys hardcore. Alright, we got the Predator Missile. We got the Harrier. And that's pretty much it. So, before we do anything, I'm going to actually make them ignore me. And spawn a shy a ton of them just to see what these things do. So we're gonna... Activate this, Harrier Strike. Alright, let's use this puppy. Oh yeah! So you choose where you want the Harrier Strike, you can zoom in. Uh, I want it right here actually, exactly. So bam! And we wait, and see what happens. Uh, were those supposed to explode? I don't know, but the Harrier does work! The strike part, not so much, it's a little bit busted. But the Harrier does shoot, see it up there? It's just chilling, shooting down from above. Now I will admit, it's not the most effective way to kill something. I mean, it is taking quite a while. But you guys get the gist of it, that is indeed the Harrier. So next up we actually have the Precision Airstrike, I do believe. So we're gonna get that right now. Again, I'll spawn a wave of enemies for you guys. And we're going to see what this thing does. So Precision Airstrike, pull up the laptop again. Zoom in. So if you guys remember this airstrike, it's where you can actually control the direction of the airstrike. Let me just line this up correctly. And let's see what happens. Will this work? What? Okay, so not, not, not very much that. Doesn't really work. It's uh, kind of creepy. Uh, whoa, 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 here's the Predator Missile. Alright, so you aim and... Uh, oh, bam, that is perfect. That is, what I, that is what I want to see right there, guys. Check that out. The smoke effect is awesome. It killed every single one of them. The radius is enormously large. Um, maybe even larger than the in stupidly annoying Call of Duty one. Uh, who knows? Nonetheless, though, guys, Predator Missile is bad to the ass. Alright, so yeah, guys, I'm not too sure what's really up with that, that weird air striking stuff, but we're gonna check out the rest of the kill streaks here, and we're gonna try to speed things up just to show you guys what's going on. So this will actually be the last of the bunch, guys. So we have the last three. We have Emergency Airdrop, we have the EMP, and we have one more. Alright, guys, so here we are. So we have the EMP now. So I'm gonna press H, and let's use this puppy. Oh, yeah. As you guys know, this is one of the... Whoa! So the EMP does indeed work, but unfortunately I have no electronic device to actually test this, but I do want to show you guys one thing that does happen. Okay, so I made them ignore me before, but now they're not ignoring me. Some of them are stuck. One thing I've noticed, it disables their guns. They can't shoot me. And I, I've known this because when I did the test, I actually uh, w were fighting them and they were like shooting me and stuff, and then I used the EMP and they stopped. Right off the bat, so I think it deactivates that. Maybe it deactivates vehicles too. Let me actually. This might be a little bit crazy to think, but. Nope, okay. Well, then again, it wasn't really out when the EMP started, but. 
I don't think that would change anything. But, uh, yeah, give this, give it enough time, guys, and they'll probably shoot me. So let's do this before that happens. Next up is my favorite, uh, kill streak of all of the kill streaks in any Call of Duty game is the Stealth Bomber. I love Stealth Bombers, guys, and we're gonna kill the frick out of these dudes. Alright. Here goes nothing. Alright, where's the Stealth Bomber at? Any day. Well, they're shooting at me now, so the EMP wore off. And my kill streak didn't seem to work. So we have one last thing to do, but we will be taking a look at that air airstrike again. We have the emergency airdrop. <sighs> Alright, let's see what happens. Emergency airdrop on the way. Oh, there it is! It worked! Giant cargo plane! My airstrikes! So I got nothing but a bunch of counter UAVs, but I did get a Predator drone, so let's use that real, real quick. Okay, they, they spread out, so this is gonna be not very effective, but oh well! Ha ha ha! And we killed that dude hardcore! So yeah guys, so the EMP does indeed knock out their weapons, and uh, it does seem that, uh, spawn some more of these guys, it does indeed seem that the airdrop does work as well. Although it gives kind of lame payouts. I mean, all I got was counter UAVs and one Predator drone. But I digress. Okay, got the EMP, which we're not going to be needing that. But we'll use it anyway. Alright, EMP. Alrighty. Last but not least, guys, let's test out this amazing stealth bomber. Alright guys, so oddly enough, I actually do get more luck with the stealth bomber in the city, which kind of sounds funny because I just said don't use these kind of things in the city, but oh well. Alright, so they're killing everyone, but we're going to get payback. Oh yeah. Alright. <gasps> there it is! Stealth bomber! Oh my god, are those all explosives? <laughs> that is what I'm talking about right there! Bam! I only killed two people, but... That was freaking sweet! So that, my friends, is going to conclude this amazing video of this amazing mod. Now, unfortunately, this mod is very old, and I don't think it's being supported, but uh, it was just re-uploaded for its own good, and most of the airstrikes do indeed work pretty well, actually. So if you guys do, did enjoy this video, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing, and if you guys want to comment down below, then you could do that and suggest future add-ons if you do wish to do that. And if you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, they'll be down there in the description, as well as all the mods used in this video. That's going to conclude it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, farewell.